Hi, this is Yabagai, and welcome to a Katane module tutorial on the subject of Not the Button, part of the Not Vanilla series of modded modules by Andrio Celos. You can tell this is not the button because the customary glowing strip is to the left of the button, not the right. As always, you can get the module and manual you see here using the links in the description below. To start, I'm going to do some edge work and check the widgets and serial number on the bomb. We'll need this information shortly. Let's see. We have three batteries and two battery holders. Lit car, lit FRK, and lit IND. Denote they're lit with capital letters. And a number of C84AE9. Alrighty. The first part of this module is very simple. We need to determine, using this table here, whether to press and immediately release the button, that is, tap the button, hold the button, or mash the button by clicking it repeatedly. Let's take uh, this button, for example. White click is white here, using the white row, and the click calm, which is press. So we simply tap and release the button, and after a momentary pause, it gives us the green light. How about this button? White abort. Well, it's the white row and the abort column. That's also a press, and that's a solve, with the green light showing. How about this button over here? First of all, one thing you'll notice about it is that the strange pattern on it. That's actually a part of the colorblind helper mod, which I will also link in the description below. Notice how for this orange button, it's checkerboarded and it is in the manual here. Um, ahem. Next to the orange label here, same goes for this green horizontal stripe here and its corresponding marking on the manual here. So if you could use it, that feature is there for you. Now, as for the subject of green aborts, whoops, this time we need to hold the button, so we need to refer to not releasing a held button before we hold the button, much like with the vanilla module. This time we have a bunch of different possible variety of stripes here, and by putting the timer in view, yabba, yeah, we will compare the strip color to the manual and then determine at what time we are allowed to release it. Um, let's go ahead. We get a white strip color. Anytime! Alright. Boy, that was fortunate. Um, how about white mash? White mash. That's a hold as well. Let's see if we get more of a challenge this time. Put the timer in view. In view. Hold it. What is it this time? It's green and red. Green and red in the manual, it's um, in the left column, second from the bottom. Rightmost seconds digit is prime or zero. Well, seven would do. Boink, there we go. And that is that module solved, another green light coming on here. Um, the only tricky rules here um, contains the number of batteries. Make sure you have your battery count beforehand. Um, tens of seconds digits, that's referring to... Um, the four in this timer, as you see it right now, just turned to five. That's the tens of seconds digit. Um, how about this button over here? It says pink and mash. Pink mash is a mash. Well, how about that? This means we need to tap the button a certain number of times before um, tap the button a certain number of times in order to solve it. Let's read not mashing a button. If you start mashing a button, a display will activate showing the number of times you've pressed it. Based on the color of the button, use one of the expressions below to calculate how many times to press it. Careful, trap rule. If the result is outside the range of 10 to 99, keep subtracting or adding seven to your answer until it's within the range. After you've pressed the button enough times, wait for three seconds for the answer to be submitted. The table is easy enough to use. Button color is pink and, uh-oh, Great, algebra. But not a problem at all. Let's take this algebraic equation here as expert and um, see what variables we need to use. G equals the number of letters in the word on the button. That's four. So three times the quantity G, which is four. Three times four is 12. Minus, let's see, A, the number of batteries in the bomb. That's three. So we get three here quantity inside the parentheses is six that becomes six remember the trap rule though 
if it's outside 10 to 99, we keep subtracting or adding 7 until it's in range. That makes it 13. Let's mash away 13 times. 13. Yeah, there we go. Let's find one more button to mash. Um, I'm just going to guess, just out of pure conjecture, that it's this button. Let's see here. Orange push. Oh my goodness, how do I do it? I found two presses, two holds, and two matches in the exact order. How did I do that? Anyway, it's orange push, and that means another mash. What's the equation this time? 2B plus 1 minus G. Let's see. B is number of unique port types in the bomb. Nope, all we had was batteries and indicators, so that's 0. And 1 minus G, the number of words on the letter on the button, that's four, which gives us the quantity uh, negative three. So once again, the trap rule applies here. If the result is outside the range of 10 to 99, keep subtracting or adding seven until it's within range. Add seven once, not enough. Add seven again, that's 11 times. That's how many times we need to mash the button, 11. And there we go, there is our green light, and that is not the button. I hope you enjoyed this module, and I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, any uh, feedback, or any alternative solving methods, please put them in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching.